Yeah. I think that's the cool part about it is uh, I got to step into a situation where they needed me, and it was cool. It's fun. I was getting dressed for morning skate in Ontario, and just excited to play a game there. Um, I'd lost three in a row, so I just really wanted to get back in the win column. And uh, I don't know. They walked in, they tapped me on the shoulder. They're like, "You're flying out at one. Um, get ready to play." So the whole flight, like I was just kind of hanging out, chilling, and. Uh, you know, long commercial flight, crying babies, all that stuff. Um, but then I got to the hotel, got some food. Bill let me know, really, like, gave me a lot of heads up. He's like, you're going to be playing. And uh, he did a great job getting me prepared this morning. Um, all the guys made me feel so comfortable. And, you know, you only get opportunities like this every once in a while. So I just want to enjoy it, enjoy the moment and have fun. And, you know... I just didn't want to, uh, like, think myself out of it, you know. Just <laughs> goaltending is an anxious position, and, you know, you battle with that. You battle with injuries and whatever, and you get to the highest level, and then it gets taken away from you, and you got to work your way back. So it was cool. Did you know you were going to start on your flight over here, not until you got there? When I landed, mm -hmm. I was, because, I mean, I imagine if Quickie would have had an easier night last night and the guys would have won like he he's rolling right now so you go back to the hot hand but um i didn't see any of the game i know it was a tough game for everybody and uh you know we really wanted to put together a good effort here today they came out pretty hard but we just weathered the storm and stuck with it stuck together and um i think you know it's it's evident there's a special group in there uh it's a good concoction of guys and um it's just cool to be a part of it um I was just trying to stay in it just I was trying to make sure the score didn't get out of hand and make saves and um, keep us close keep us within striking distance and uh, when we scored uh, the shorthanded goal I was like okay and then, uh, you know, we, we had a great third period. I just had to make a couple saves. And guys did a really great job of, you know, letting me see the puck and, and letting me make the saves. And, um, you know, when I needed help, they were there for me. Oli bailed me out in the second period with that post uh, that was sitting in the crease. And guys were just great in front of the net all night. Guys could have had tap-ins. You know, guys were picking up sticks back door. They were letting me do my job. So it was cool. It was fun. Like this, you know, the first phone call maybe you make after this. My, my family, you know. Um, you know, I've had, I've had to retool everything that I do. Um, I just had to get my life back. You know, it's more than just hockey. I was, you know, just a lot of work. It's worth it though. It was worth it. Uh, I don't know. I suffered a pretty bad concussion in Toronto um, in practice. And I was having a really good season, and I kind of derailed my season there. And uh, the wheels just fell off for a little bit. And, you know, you got to start from the ground up and, and work your way back. I started in the East Coast League this time last year. Uh, I was making 600 bucks a week. I was having a good time just enjoying playing hockey. I, I just, it was just crazy to be on NHL ice again and playing against the greatest goal scorer of all time and having an answer. So it was cool.